Hey, it's A Home Collector here. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the four panel death card for Ferdinand and Vili Gleisner. Uh, so, without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, so, panel one here uh, just says they were willing to die for law and country. And then on the inside here, we have a almost full page photo of Ferdinand. Uh, down below here, we have, Oh Lord, give him eternal rest and let eternal light shine on him. Lord, let him rest in peace. Amen. And then moving to panel three here, it is decreed in God's counsel that one must part from the dearest thing one has, in pious memory of my dearest and most loyal husband, the best father to his little Manfred, our dear son, brother, brother-in-law, and uncle, Ferdinand Gleisner, an Obergefreiter and a Panzergrenadier Regiment, bearer of the Iron Cross Second Class, the Black and Silver Wound Badges, and the Eastern Front Medal. And then we actually have some really nice biographical information down here. Uh, he was born on March 3rd, 1906 in Postbrum as the third son of August Gleisner and Franziska, born Zeidler, and was called to arms at the beginning of the war. After more than four years of loyal service on the Western Front, in the Balkans, and in Russia, he suffered a heroic death on November 22, 1943, in a defensive position near Mirianova in the Smolensk region. His final resting place was at the Trukasi Divisional Cemetery. His youngest brother, Villebald, died near Yuknov on March 3, 1941, at the age of 26. Um, so, we're right about really awesome info here. Uh, I also think it's interesting, they listed his son, uh, you know, our dear son Manfred, which you you see references as being, you know, loving, caring fathers occasionally, but I, I don't think I've ever seen the uh, the children's name actually put in the death card, so I thought that was interesting. Uh, so, Ferdinand here, I was actually able to find a casualty record for, I'll go ahead and put that up on screen. So, Ferdinand was killed by an artillery shot to the head. And he was a member of the 14th Company, which was the Panzerjäger Company of Grenadier Regiment uh, 689, which was part of the 246th Infantry Division. Uh, he is buried in Block 21 of the Stostovka Military Cemetery uh, in the Unknown Soldier section. And interestingly, I do have a card for another member of the 246th Infantry Division, uh, Leopold Feringer, who was a Schutze in the 14th Company of Infantry Regiment 404, was killed by a shrapnel wound to the head at Reshev on February 25th, 1942. Now, unfortunately, I was not able to find any information on Vili. Um, so possibly you know, in the future, maybe the casualty records will get updated or more will get scanned in. We'll be able to find something, but um, nothing on him currently. Uh, so moving to the bottom here, which continues on to the, uh, the next page. Uh, Father of mercy and God of all consolation, have mercy on your faithful servant, Ferdinand and Villibald, who fell fighting for the fatherland. Far from home they lie buried, but you, O oh Father, be close to them with your love. Forgive them their trespasses and relieve them of all temporal penalties, not with their death, which they endured for the fatherland, but with eternal life. Adorn them with the laurel wreaths of the faithful soldiers and give us the joy of seeing them again in heaven. Through Christ our Lord, amen. And then uh, Our Father, Hail Mary. And then moving to the very bottom here. Uh, Duty called us out to war. With God, we left you at home. We thought of you on and on, even if we stayed in a strange place and looked forward to seeing you again when war and hardship come to an end. But God wanted it differently and picked us up from here. We know nothing more of the suffering of earth and are freed from all worries. So comfort yourselves at home. What God does is done well. So yeah, pretty interesting card for two brothers there. Um, it is unfortunate we couldn't find anything on Vili, but uh, even without that, I think it's a pretty interesting card. Uh, so I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment down below. Love hearing from you. Uh, thank you all for watching. Happy collecting, and I'll see you all again very soon.